Today I'm going to show you how to install the printer drivers for the Zebra LP2443 or the 2844 I believe. These are the 4x6 label printers that you would use for like if you're selling on eBay or doing other shipping. That's what they're uh, great for. And I know when I got mine I had a few questions and ran into a few problems and I still do every now and then installing it on a new computer and it's just kind of finicky so I could never find a video when I was doing this so I thought maybe I could hopefully help someone out if you don't have the drivers I have the drivers that I'll link in the description below the place where I bought this printer from Hippo Deals they provided a great CD with the necessary drivers and so I know for people that are looking for them and maybe bought a used one online and you can't find the drivers I'll have those in the description for you so they have a great instructional setup here that will be in there it's in the folder of the CD or the folder that you'll download um, if you open that up you'll see the readme it's, he's got an HTML file that he made just to kinda help you out here with the instructions so anyway we'll go ahead and run the zebra exe file so here it is. I'm on Windows 8.1, so this should work for 7, 8, and 8.1. So go ahead and hit OK. and we'll just go ahead and run through this setup like normal and so at this spot right here we're gonna wanna choose I've got a 2443 but there's hundreds of printers here that this will work for this driver so for mine we're gonna go ahead and do the LP2443 and I believe if you've got the 2844 it would work as well yeah you got that right here so it's all the same for the most part and I've already got it installed but I'm just gonna do it anyway so we're just gonna update existing that won't be there on yours though so let's go ahead and head on over to devices and printers once it's installed and here it is I've got the Zebra LP2443 and I don't know why but almost every single time that I've installed this printer I've always had to install it twice and uh, rename it something different the second time because for whatever reason it never wants to work the first time I install it so I always install it once and it's LP2443 and then I have to go through and I have to install it one more time and uh, you want to choose in there in the setup the highest USB port so if you have two USB ports then you would want to try and choose USB 002 if you have three you try to and hopefully in that list you'll have there in the installer you'll have all those USB ports listed those virtual USB ports but um, and it does matter which port that you plug it into so it's either gonna it's gonna be you know either the lowest one on your computer so if you have three on one side it's either going to be the very very one closest to you or it's going to be the farthest one away from you um, on all the things that I've installed it on it's always been on my laptop the closest to me and you always have to plug it in to that one every time because that's what it's configured to be on and it's just some stupid finicky things like that that makes installing these a pain but once they're installed I've not had one problem so let me know if you have any issues. Leave some comments. Um, like I said, I've got the drivers for you there, so that's a lot of the work if you guys don't have the drivers. So let me know what you think, and if you have issues, let me know. But just follow through that guide, and if you have to, install it again. And um, if you have problems with figuring out which port it's going to be on your computer, once it's installed, you can go over here to Ports, and then you can change the port here so you can change it to 001 um, but yeah it takes a few tries but you'll get it 
So thanks for watching.